Hi, I'm Gauri Krishna, and I teach the Community Economic Development Clinic. So the CED clinic is in its second semester ever. I'm here at Roger Williams, and we're, we're halfway through that semester. Um, this clinic does transactional work, so that's basically anything that's not litigation. So we're helping clients who come in with their project ideas, incorporate businesses, um, deal with tax issues, regulatory issues, contracts, leases, um, business formation, intellectual property, so the whole range of things that a nonprofit or a small business might come in wanting to get help with. Um, we have really exciting projects, a very community-based local work. We were just out on a 150-acre farm last week where the client wants to figure out, it's a conservation district client, they want to figure out how to do leases between themselves and farmers that are going to sublease different plots of land to do sustainable farming. Um, we're working with a youth group that's making skateboards, and so they want to know like what kind of liability issues um, are around the skateboard. They want to trademark the design for the skateboard. Um, so really some fun stuff. Um, and it's, it's problem solving, it's very client centered, so we focus on how to represent clients and they're mostly organizational clients, but that can apply to you for going out and working with individual clients after practice in a way that really helps the client figure out how to best achieve their goals. Um, it's intense, so everything that Andy just said about the time commitment and the class time applies to this clinic. The prerequisite is business organization, so you should have taken that before you come into the clinic. Um, and I, don't, I, don't want to, I don't want you to take my word for, for how great the clinic is, so I have a couple of 3Ls who are currently in the clinic, Blake Schofield and Leslie Jackson, to share a little bit. Hi, I'm Blake. Hi, I'm Leslie. <laughs> um, we took the clinic both because we wanted to do transactional work we knew since pretty much day one and uh, we're doing a lot of really exciting things we both have well we're partners and we have um, four clients together one of them is the uh, environmental justice league we have a pedicab company in Providence we have yeah um, it, it's it's pretty cool we have a, a grassroots sort of organization that works with uh, with young they're farmers like, yeah yeah they're like they <laughs> i mean it, it's it how varies young? how young <laughs> well new young, yeah like, new young, like beginning new. farmers <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we have um people who work with uh, migrant migrant uh, workers teaching them how to speak english teaching them how to speak english and being more active in their community as well as uh environmentally conscious so, so far we've been involved with um, interviewing them, figuring out what their legal needs are, and then going back uh, and trying to figure out how we can help them either set up their entity, uh, get them 501c3 tax exempt status with the IRS, comply with the nonprofit rules, um, governance and, documents. And what's really interesting is that uh, neither one of us actually thought that we'd be doing uh, any kind of work with nonprofits, but it, I mean, the experience, for me at least, is eye-opening <laughs> because I strictly want to do for-profit, you know, business work. So if you're thinking that, don't shy away from this opportunity because you'll get the same experiences and it might actually take you down a different path. You never know. Yeah, I spent the last two years um, interning at a like a firm that does mostly transactional work in Boston, and I thought I was going to have a lock on this. I thought I knew exactly what I was doing, and it's totally different when you're sitting across the table from a client, and they're looking at you and asking you, you know, how do I set up a business? And you're just like, oh, God. And that's when you look to your partner and you say, you got the answer? And he'll be like, we'll get back to you on that. No, but it, it really is, um, it's a phenomenal experience. And I have to say that uh, I can't leave without telling you that I actually had the opportunity also to clinic, to have a clinic last semester. If you can, seriously, I love, you. I love school, I do. But <laughs> much, much better to have two semesters if you can outside of the classroom. You'll be much saner for it. <laughs> Thank you.